So you might be trying to figure out how you can download the Mihan or Mihan, I don't even know how you say it, the manga reader. It's a very basic process, so let's get started. Number one, you want to go ahead and either Google Mihan just like this, or you want to go to the website mihan.app. So you can go through and download it whichever way you want to. And then you want to go and click on the download button. So click on download, and you can either download the real version or the beta, it's up to you. In this case, we'll just download the free version or the non-beta version. It'll take a little bit of time for it to download. You can click on the details button next to it to see when it's officially downloaded. It'll be an APK file. Once it's downloaded, you just want to tap on it. And sometimes Chrome might not allow you to go through and allow it. So just click settings, click on. So just click settings, click on allow, then click on install. And it'll tell you that the unknown app is blocked. Sometimes you just have to try it twice and it should end up working. So just like this, you click on install. And then I guess we're going to have to go into our settings, security and privacy, and then auto blocker. So let's go to settings. Let's go to security and privacy right here. Then click on auto blocker. We should be able to find it somewhere. So many things right here. So let's go ahead and turn it off. Let's go back. Let's go ahead and enable it and try installing it again. And then it will eventually install. So now once it's fully installed, we can go ahead and open it up and then we're basically good to go. So you can click on OK. You can go and choose whichever way you want to go ahead and have the light mode, dark mode or whatever. Click on next. And now you can select a folder for, exa for exactly where your files are stored. So wherever you want to go and basically store your files at, you want to go and basically choose that folder. So in this case, I'll just go and choose this one and I will go and go back. So I guess I can't choose that one. So I'll have to use a different one. So let's just go back and let's just go into, I guess I can't use any of these core folders, so we're just going to have to make a new one. So this one, we'll just go and name it like manga or something like that. Once we're done with that, click on OK. Click on Allow. You can use your storage guide, but we'll just skip it for now. You could probably give it access to all this stuff if you want to. I would probably recommend it if you want. And then you can go and have all this backup information. You can click on Get Started, and now you're good to go. Your files, if you store them inside of that folder, they should be prompted up in this page. You can go and use it, and you can also browse other things too if you want to, but that's essentially how you do it. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, so then.